Hi, this is a Mixamo tutorial uh, to, for using Face Plus with the Motion Builder. So here is our character, uh, Battery Boy with Blends, that is imported and is also included with the Face Plus package. And so we can animate this character uh, using Motion Builder. And the first thing we want to do is to actually hook up uh, Face Plus. So we go into Devices. Uh, in order to have the device, Mixamo device, show up, uh, we need to copy uh, the entire content of the delivered uh, zip file into uh, the Motion Builder directory, including the plugins. This is the typical folder where you want to copy it. Uh, so the files go in there, Motion Builder 2014, bin x64, uh, and it's also including inside the plugin folder, uh, this is going to be mixamobu.dll. Uh, so once we have done that, we have uh, started Motion Builder, you will see inside devices, there's a Mixamo device in here that we can add. So all I have to do is to drag and drop it in the scene. And then in the navigator, I will see now a Mixamo device. So I can double click on this. And that will pull up, pop up the properties of the device. And I will see that I have here uh, all the um, blend shapes of my, of my character. So in order to activate, I can expand the navigator. In order to activate the face plus, all I need to do is click on online and then my camera will turn on and then I will have a live recording of uh, Face Plus so I can see here uh, on the right side the video here I have my character now moving in real time and my video playing on the right side and I can make it live or not live, the camera will still be on as this is green. So I can see now Face Plus working in real time. Okay, we have achieved this first goal. I can also do a recording uh, of my performance. So I can enable recording here and then uh, click on the recording button, create a new uh, take and then press play hello everybody here I've recorded so I can disable live and then now I can replay the recorded performance as you can see okay a couple of things that we notice uh, from this is that uh, we don't have a uh, body animation and also uh, we don't have the animation on the teeth. So let's start first with the teeth. So here is the diagram. Actually, another thing that we noticed, sorry, is that uh, we didn't have a uh, motion on the head, on the head bone. Uh, so we want to add that. And then uh, we want to add that by going to mapping. And here we can see the mapping of all the joints. And we see the head joint was not mapped because of the different naming convention. So I can select the head joint and all I have to do is to drag and drop into the right location and then now I can see that um, also the head is being tracked. Hello. If I double click on the Face Plus driver uh, this will take me into the relations uh, view. The relations view is basically used to uh, visualize all the connections between the blend shapes and the channels the face plus is using. So here I have all the possible connections. Um, the, uh, all my device is uh, uh, creating uh, all the basic uh, channels and how those are connected to the blend shapes. So I can in any uh, any time modify those, change the way it operates. Uh, but we also created a simpler way to do it, which is uh, using the um, actual gain channels in the interface. So if you go into the, the uh, not the main view, but the mapping view, you'll see there are channels that are called gain and offset. 
uh, if I activate those, and for example, I apply this to um, the opening of the mouth, for example. So here I can increase the gain of mouth open. So I can get a gigantic mouth, as you can see, or I can get a really small one. Despite the size of my of my smile, it will be pretty small. Instead, if I crank it all the way, the mouth is really big. And then I can also set some offsets. So here, by default, it will be really a small closed mouth, and here, by default, it will be an open mouth. So I have the possibility of altering the uh, midpoint and also the gain of each uh, channels very very easily using those sliders um, and those basic sliders will also work on the relations that we saw so I are the basically easy way to create an offset and also to uh, modify uh, the gain that those relations get in this case though we wanted to animate uh, the jawbone which is uh, uh, this one right here that is controlling the teeth that right now is, is not being actuated. So in order to do that, we are dragging we are uh, dragging the jaw into the relations panel. It's a, a receiver. So here we have the jaw. Then we set this as local transformation. And then what we want to do is connect this to the uh, mouth open blend shape. So here number I'm gonna use a uh, multiplier. There you go. And I'm connecting this to my rotations which will need to, the transformation to a vector. And then here I take the input from mouth open which is this one. And then here I'm just setting a value which is the multiplication value, let's say 0.3 that's what I'm going to use now and this basically takes the mouth open value that comes out of uh, face plus it brings it into uh, a number multiplied by 0.3 and this number is assigned to the X rotation of uh, the jaw so now I can see in my character that the lower teeth are now also connected to the mouth. So when I open the mouth, also the, the teeth are following. Hello. So this way I can basically edit uh, all these relations and use it to actuate even other stuff. So we, we gave a general overview, these are all the inputs, but I can change those and I can change the way those are affected. Hello. Now it's a much more natural type of character, so we like it um, a lot better. The last thing we want to do is now add also animation to the actual uh, body. So we can remove this window and then now we can upload our FBX character into Mixamo. Here we have done this uh, already. I can look at the skeleton view of my of my character. Uh, this is like a, just a standard idol. So I can, I have uploaded my character to Mixamo, it automatically maps, and then now I'm just downloading some standard idol. That will be called epi idol underscore three probably, yes. I'm downloading this as an FBX file. There you go. Now that is that has been downloaded, I can go and uh, grab it from here. So in the meantime, let's pause our device and let's merge the file that we just downloaded, which we'll call API.3. And we're gonna add a namespace and merge. So here I have a second character as you can see in the uh, hierarchy view and this second character has basically all the motions that I saw on Mixamo. 
I can move it to the side, so I have both. And then now the best way to apply uh, the motion, since we are using Motion Builder, is actually to retarget. This way you can use also different characters. Uh, so um, we're going to uh, open the Asset Browser here, and then we're going to do a characterization of our two characters as a biped. And the reason why I do this instead of just copying the um, keys is because this is more general and also it will allow us to do more things later on that I will show you. So now I have my um, Mixamo animations. I can go into the navigator and then look at the two characters that I have. The second one is the one that I want to animate. And then here I can make it active so it actually follows. So I'm going to uh, hide the second character because we don't need to see anymore now. So I had selection, and now I have my original character that is performing some kind of idle motion with the body. So in this situation, uh, I can go into Face Plus again in the devices, and I can turn on Live, and so I'll be able to uh, play the animations on our character while at the same time I'm using Face Plus. There you go, so now I can play my animation and then at the same time I can record my animation that is going on. Hello! Uh, I also want to re-enable our connection to the open mouth you go reset. So now also the teeth are being driven. And I have now basically a full capture of the body and the uh, facial at the same time. So I could record that and have my character fully alive, hello, uh, and ready to, to perform. You will see now that the motion of the head is not driven by the camera anymore. It's driven now by the body animation. So there's a way to uh, change that. I can go back into the character definition and then uh, change the mapping on the neck and on the head. So I'm going to remove the characterization. I'm going to remove the neck mapping and I'm going to actually map the neck uh, joint to, uh, to the head. So this way my animation that is on the body that I downloaded from Mixamo is basically uh, not interfering then I can go back with the characterization as a biped and then uh, turn on the retargeting and now I have the head that is following my camera but some of the performance of the body is still transferred not to the head joint but to the neck joint so I have a fully live character now in front of me that is performing what I want and I can also record what I'm doing uh, both the body and the head and then go and edit that. So this is the end of our uh, tutorial. Uh, we have seen how to provide both body animation and head animation to our um, character Battery Boy how to attach uh, to Face Plus uh, channels also the animation on the, on the jaw and on the cavities, uh, and also how to record this animation and playback. So this concludes our first tutorial on Face Plus for Motion Builder. Uh, I hope you will enjoy it and you will leverage the infinite possibilities that this technology is providing. And here we can see a few examples of facial expressions that can be created in real time using Face Plus uh, on a character with a nice tune shader applied. Thank you very much for your attention and happy animating with Mixamo.